Hi everybody, welcome to my shop. Today I thought I would venture outside of my comfort zone and dabble in a little bit of metal work and it's a project I saw over on Ted Alexander's channel. Ted made a copper rose that I thought looked really cool so that's what I'm going to try today. And I've gone out and bought myself a propane blowtorch which I've never used before. And also I contacted Ted and he was nice enough to send me some 8th inch steel rod that's threaded on one end with three nuts on it. And also the small sheet of copper that I can use. I've already got some snips I can use to cut the copper. And from an art supply place, I've got this patina chemical that can be used to add color to the copper rose when it's all done. Uh, oh, you might be wondering why I've got this old monitor out here. And it's because I was going to use it for my CNC machine. Hello? Where am I? Ted, is that you? Yeah, Carmichael. Yeah, it's me. Hey, look, it's Ted Alexander, everybody. Ted, how did you get on this old monitor? I don't know. I was just watching your tongue drum video. I got done. I clicked the like button. Next thing you know, here I am in, in your TV, I guess, and in your workshop. What's going on? Well, thanks for the thumbs up, Ted. I was just getting ready to make the copper rose that you made in one of your videos. Really? You were thinking about making a copper rose? That's awesome. Yeah, it's, it's not hard. It's just working with a different product, you know? You can do it easy. I've got all the supplies that I need, and do you have any tips for me before I get started? Well, first you need to get it hot, you know, anneal it, and, and hammer it out to where you got some texture. That, that's the that's two of the most important things then you can work with it when you put the patina on you got to get it hot and and it'll go on there just fine for you when you get all the petals on on the rod then just put a couple of nuts on there to hold it no problems okay thanks for the tips Ted I've never used a blowtorch before so this is gonna be fun oh yeah and uh, Steve don't burn the house down <laughs> Okay, Ted, I'll try not to burn it down. So, are you just going to wait here on this monitor while I go make the rose? Okay. Okay, well, I'll check back with you in a little while. Sounds good. I, I don't have much of a choice. The first step to making this rose is to cut this sheet of copper down into five smaller pieces. I'm going to start by cutting it into two two and a half inch wide strips. Now, if you want to make a bigger rose, you'll want to cut wider strips. And you might want to wear gloves while doing this so you don't cut yourself, but hey, I'm a rebel. Now I'm going to measure and cut these down into a four inch length, a three and a half inch length, a three inch length, a two and a half inch length, and then I'll save the leftover piece. The next step is to drill an eighth inch hole in the center of each piece so that they can slide onto the eighth inch rod. Now I'm going to draw a line lengthwise down the center of each piece. On the last piece, I'm going to cut out sort of a star shape that has four tips. Now I'm going to cut each piece down the line on each side toward the center and stop three-eighths of an inch from the hole. Alright, I've done the majority of the cuts and the last thing I need to do is take each of these pieces and round off the corners on each of the four tabs because these are going to become the rose petals and they need to be more rounded and petal shaped. Now this is where things get really noisy. So Ted, close your ears. I'm going to hammer some texture into this copper so it looks more like rose petals. Kind of like a leaf vein pattern. I 
I've already threaded one nut onto the steel rod until it stops and I've tightened it. So now I just need to put the star shape first, then the largest piece, then the next piece I want to put it crossways on top of the larger piece. Then the next smaller piece goes on crossways on top of that piece. And then the smaller piece goes on crossways again. What do you think, Tech? Now I just gotta shape it into a rose shape. So the process here to add some color to the rose is to heat it up with a blowtorch and then spray the chemical on it and then heat it up with a blowtorch and keep doing that until you get the color that you want on the rose. Well, I finished the rose and I even made a vase out of spalted white oak to go with it. It just slides in there. So tell me what you think. That really looks awesome, Steve. You're, you're just a true craftsman. Well, thanks, Ted, for doing your copper rose video and inspiring me to do this project. I've never worked with metal before, and that was a lot of fun, especially using the blowtorch. Oh, yeah. And, and you didn't even burn the house down. That's cool. Now, can you figure out a way to get me back home? So you said the last thing you remember is you were watching my tongue drum video and you clicked the like button and all of a sudden you ended up here? That's the last thing that I did is I, I clicked the like button and next thing I know I'm in your TV, so yeah. Okay, well, hmm, maybe if I go to your Copper Rose video and click the like button on your video, it'll send you back to your shop. That'll probably work. I hope it does anyways. Okay, well, thanks again, Ted, for your help, and I hope you get back to your shop okay. I'm going to do this on my phone. All right, give it a try. Thanks a lot, Steve. Good seeing you. Well, this is the finished project. I hope you guys like it. And if you do, give me a thumbs up. And All right, here we go, Ted. Hey everybody! <laughs> this collaboration video was a blast and I want to thank Ted Alexander for working on it with me. But before you go, make sure you click this video over here or the link in the video description so you can visit Ted's channel and watch the other half of this collaboration. And make sure you subscribe to his channel while you're there. Uh, you can watch his video and see what happened when I clicked the like button on Ted's Copper Rose video. Also, make sure you click the like button on this video because you never know where you might end up. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.